Uh, one of the things the Solidarity Committee did uh, in 1984 was the 50th anniversary of the historic uh, Autolite strike in Toledo. And that the, the strike happened in 34, which was the year before the UAW was formed. So it wasn't really a UAW strike, but it was at an, an auto parts plant and has been associated with the UAW. Uh, so those of us that were active labor supporters, uh, we thought, well, you know, geez, we got to do something to mark the anniversary of the strike because the strike was won. Uh, the workers got a contract, they got a raise, and then um, some of the organizers who uh, won that uh, strike went on to uh, go to Flint, Michigan, to um, help organize the Flint sit-down strike, and to other places to uh, organize what, what became the United Auto Workers. So it was a, it was a big deal. Uh, and it was one of the three biggest strikes um, in labor history in, in 34. There were a couple of general strikes in San Francisco and I think Minneapolis and the Toledo strike, which wasn't a general strike, but it was it's often ranked in there with uh, imp as important as the other ones. So anyway, we wanted to do something to mark the 50th anniversary and it didn't look like the UAW was going to do anything public. Um, turned out they wound up doing something at the Union Hall, but they weren't going to do a, a public thing. So the Solidarity Committee decided we were going to do that. And we wanted to work with the UAW, but we were getting the feeling from the leadership that they just weren't interested in, in working with us on that. And come to find out, uh, it was more than just kind of not being interested. Uh, but they put the word out to the UAW members in the area to not attend the rally at the courthouse on the day that it was held because it was organized by communists. And those of us in the Solidarity Committee had a, had a good laugh at that because uh, the way the Autolite strike was won was by the communist organized unemployed league uh, A.J. Musty was one of the main organizers of that and uh, came to Toledo and organized, this is in 1934, organized unemployed people to go out on the picket line with the workers who were striking. And usually, you know, those are the first people that are going to wind up being scabs because they are not they don't have a job. But here it was, the depth of the Depression, the unemployed people, because uh, they were organized by people who had an ideology that was, you know, 100% working class, they wound up going out and not just kind of being there, but actually turned that around. So that strike, which was going south on the Union, uh, became a victory because of the intervention of the Unemployed League. They would, they would bring masses of people, thousands of people out to the picket line. Uh, they'd be arrested by the hundreds they'd overflow the jail and they had to let them out. They'd go back down to the picket line. I mean, it was, I talked to some of the people who were involved in that and it was an amazing operation. And anyway, so the, that strike was won. We had 800 people, uh, which for Toledo is a pretty big deal for a rally. We had 800 people show up at the courthouse and I think it was in June or May of uh, 1984, which, the, which was the 50th anniversary. So we were real happy with that. Well, and so they smeared you guys as communists. Were there any active communists, including yourself in the, uh, I mean, were you identifying as a communist in 1984? No, I didn't, I never, never joined anybody's party. <laughs> <laughs> now you were just too left. So the, the smear and still with the cold war was that, oh, he's a communist. Yeah. And yeah, in those days, you know, it was still, uh, a good way to, to smear somebody. Um, I think a year or two before that was the AP parts strike. I mentioned the Solidarity Committee was active in that. We built a strike shack and drove it out there to the picket line because it was in the cold weather and they had some shelter. And uh, we had, uh, in fact, Sue um, lettered it. It was a, a plank about six feet wide and it just said Toledo Area Solidarity Committee. And Sue, Sue lettered it. And one of the UAW staff members came by and said, get that sign off of there. That's a bunch of communists. 
So, you know, the guys on the picket line, that, I, know, I mean, they were happy to have the strike shack, but, you know, whatever. So, you know, the, the sign came down. And then uh, another day, it was, it was at night, I'm standing over there around the burn barrel, you know, I got my AFSME jacket on, and we're just shooting the shit and talking about unions and strikes. And this car pulls up, slams on the brakes, pulls over and says, get your fucking ass off this picket line or I'm going to kick it off. And it was the, uh, it was, his name was Rod Smith. And he was uh, a rep, uh, a staff rep for the UAW. And these two guys that were there at the burn barrel with me are looking, well, what the hell's going on? So, you know, I left, but, you know, then, then when I, I, I mentioned earlier that uh, when I first ran for city council in 87, um, one of the endorsements I got was from the Police Patrolmen's Association, from the police. So uh, I was okay for the cops, but I was too red for the UAW, <laughs> which has been something that's always kind of tickled me.